Oh, YouTube, this is a bad, bad, bad day. Um, I'm forced to make this video. I you know, I really didn't want to do this. But uh, you'll see here on the screen, I've got this comment uh, to Jonathan Clack. It says, what? Are you stacking the deck and removing honest Bible-based comments now, Jonathan? I can't even begin to tell you how much this disappoints me, especially considering I have fought for you and defended you all these years. Thus, it looks like I am going to be forced to make a video on the subject myself, as you have left me no choice. And what I'm talking about here is uh, I made a comment on this latest video that Jonathan did. Uh, look at the skin, sin we're in. Um, and he's removed it. And, um, you know, it's an opposing point of view, but Jonathan has always been pretty good about allowing uh, opposing points of view that are biblical based. But now I see he's turn, turning up, uh, you know, the tension on this. And, you know, I have no choice but, you know, to address this. <clears throat> so you'll see here that this guy. T green through or ho or whatever made a, a comment but um, I had made a comment right after that and took a screenshot because my gut told me my instincts told me that Jonathan was gonna do this and this was my comment I said I spent a week trying to clean this in my humble opinion uh, false interpretation of scripture up in the comments of Hagman and Hagman show while defending Jonathan as they were attacking him left and right not to mention one of Jonathan's last videos where I pointed out that beguiled and seduced is not exclusively the same thing according to Strong's as it could and in my opinion simply means deceived as Strong's also says that it also says as if ate fruit means to have sex then Adam had sex with the serpent as well and would have been bisexual and that's just not believable in my reality based on what scripture actually says as Adam knew his wife Eve, and she conceived and bore Cain, Genesis 4.1. So with that said, you folks believe as you wish, but I think the serpent seed doctrine is on really shaky ground. So this is the comment that Jonathan um, removed. I don't see a thing wrong with the comment. So now I got another comment here. Uh, that I've already read to you as far as him stacking the get deck and I'm fixing to post it. He'll probably remove this too, but I just wanted to wait so you guys will see. I'll post it right here, right now. All right, so that's in there. But um, getting back to this, he has, he's, he's playing word games is what he's doing. Um, and he's restricting... Uh, comments now here's here's another comment that I made okay in one of his prior videos uh, Jesus Christ is a snare that turns the world upside down and um, as you can see here I got a lot more you know thumbs up on my comment than Jonathan got on his and um, you can also see here that he's cutting half of the uh, definition from Strong's off. So he's stacking the deck. He's playing word games. And, you know, this kind of stuff I hate. I cannot stand it. Um, but here's my comment then. And you guys forgive me because my eyes are going bad. My glasses are bad. So if I'm reading a little slow, please be patient with me. Um, I really need some more glasses. But... Uh, I said, hmm, as much as I agree with most of what you say, Jonathan, as I have followed your work, 
and even promoted same for years and years, I simply do not agree that Satan had sex with Eve. Genesis 4.1 says that Adam was the father of Cain. Not only that, but Cain uh, had a shot at being accepted if he did right. See Genesis uh, 4.7. So that said, Genesis 6 records that all uh, corrupted flesh, both men and women, uh, had, be, had to be destroyed, save eight people and animals on the ark. And that would have included the offspring of Cain, regardless of who the father of same was. But again, Genesis 4.1 is clear as it possibly could be. I quote, And Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord, end of quote. And note, it doesn't say, I have gotten a man by the Lord, as Adam was the father of Cain. So again, you know, God went and he destroyed all people but eight people uh, in the flood, yet he told Cain that he would have he accepted that he would have accepted him if he did right. That's a double standard. There's, there's no way he would do that. He's not inconsistent. He never would have accepted Cain if saying if Cain was a literal offspring of Satan. And that's clear as day because he destroyed all the offspring of the fallen ones in Genesis six. So, let's get the Strong's here and see what Strong's has to say. If I can find it. Where am I? Okay. So, here's the actual verse. Um, and the, this is Genesis uh, 3.13. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. Okay, let's click on what beguiled means. Because Jonathan is leaving part of the, the definition out. It says the primitive root to lead astray. That is mentally to delude or morally to seduce, beguile, deceive, uh, ex greatly, ex otherly. So it's not synonymous, uh, beguile is not synonymous exclusively with uh, seduce. So, but he's stacking the deck. And I can't stand it when people stack the deck. And furthermore, Adam ate too. Okay. So, um, if Adam ate too, and eat is synonymous with, you know, if eating fruit is synonymous with having sex, then that means Adam had sex with Satan as well, and that means Adam was bisexual, and this thing is just bat crap crazy, all right? So, I'm going to, you know, put this video out there. I guess, you know, I don't know what kind of damage this is going to do to my friend Jonathan's, you know, teaching, but, you know, I, I've done my very best to try to clean up, uh, you know, false comments people have made about him and uh, not gotten as much as a thank you and now he's removing my videos or excuse me my comments and now I'm forced to make videos to try to bring this to light so um, you know there it is I just feel like you know I'm watching Arnold Murray Shepherd Chapel you know Shepherd Chapel reruns or something so you know you guys be careful what you believe. Here again, this is a screenshot of the comment that was removed. You can see it right there, okay? 
I took yesterday. So, you know, you guys help me wake Jonathan up because this is false teaching, hands down. I just don't see any, you know, it, it, it's just a very poor uh, interpretation of it. Not only that, but real, okay, humor me just one more second. Here's something else that this word beguiled is used um, in 2 Corinthians 11, 13. And it says uh, where Paul is, is talking about false apostles, it says, for I am jealous for you with a godly jealousy, for I have betrothed you to one husband so that to Christ that I might present you as a pure virgin. But I am afraid that as the serpent deceived Eve, didn't have say, didn't say have sex, it says deceived Eve by his craftiness, your minds will be led astray from the simplicity and the purity of the devotion of Christ. Okay, now, um, you know, I don't know. So here it is also in the King James. But I fear lest by any means that the serpent beguiled Eve with his subtlety so that your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. So there you go. Beguiled equals deceived, not, you know, had sex with. As far as I'm concerned, case closed. So thank you guys for listening and putting up with my bad vision. And, uh, you know, I really need some glasses, but, you know, I'll get them one day. But thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. And, um, you know, support people when the things that they say that are right. But if they're negative, call them out on it. Because that's one thing I see in the church today. Everybody's sitting on their butt and they're allowing false teaching you know, to, to be passed on without challenging it. And that's what the scripture is for. The scripture is for uh, correction, rebuke, you know, reproof, etc., etc. So you guys that are Christians, believers, real ones, do your job, would you? Because you're going to be held accountable. Okay? Thank you. Support us if you can. So I can get some more glasses and these videos that go a little smoother. Thank you. Love you. Mean it. If there's anything I can do to help you, let us know. Kev out from the Philippines. Bye now.